If, for example, you've been working for more than the 183-day rule in a foreign country such as Saudi Arabia where there is no income tax, then you will now be paying tax on remuneration less 1.25 million earned in Saudi. You will now have to pay this tax to SARS at SARS's rates of up to 45%. So is there any way of avoiding this expat tax? As far as SARS is concerned, you cannot just abandon your tax status in South Africa, apply for residency in another country and blissfully work overseas without following the proper procedures to cut ties with SARS and leave South Africa. SARS has several means tests to decide if a taxpayer has ties to the SA tax system or not. Every taxpayer and every case is different, but the only way to avoid this new tax appears to be complete emigration, including financial emigration. Financial emigration may not guarantee that you will be free from SARS, but it certainly strengthens your case. Financial emigration has to be done through SARS and the SA Reserve Bank. Financial emigration is not easy and it's not cheap. The financial emigration route is a minefield and should be considered very carefully. If you financially emigrate and then want to return later to live back in South Africa, then SARS will view this with suspicion. Financial emigration needs the services of a team of specialist professionals to save you time, money and avoid expensive pitfalls and handle the process of financial emigration for you. Everyone is entitled to move a certain amount of money overseas, but if you need help with financial immigration or even if you need help getting permission to move extra money to offshore investments, to opening foreign bank accounts for you, then please feel free to contact me and I will refer you to totally reputable people who are experts in these fields and, importantly, experts in negotiating the best conversion rates for you. These are people that I personally have known and dealt with for over 20 years.